What's good everybody? Chris here again. Chris goes outdoors back in New Hampshire today. We are on Iron Mountain Road at the parking area for, yes, you guessed it, Iron Mountain. So going to head up there about, it seems a mile and a half to the summit, maybe two miles total because I guess there's views past the summit a little bit down the trail there. There's a little iron mine, old iron mine you can check out too. And uh, yeah, we're going to head up, have some fun. Again, another beautiful fall day up in New Hampshire gonna waste a lot of time up there twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> up we go, let's do this. We're about 30 feet from the parking lot. <laughs> Who needs to climb the mountain? I might as well just sit here. Someone's got a house over there too. It's awesome. Imagine waking up to that every morning. You can see the presidentials behind there too. Uh, currently up in the clouds, but geez. Unreal. been going pretty good for a bit now and I have to imagine that we're uh, we're pretty close to the summit so it's a little split here I think there's a little view out there but it's uh, check see this is a little viewpoint over here of what I believe is the actual summit of Iron Mountain. So you can see behind me the, uh, the remnants right back there. I love a little fire tower, but it's nice. No real view uh, from the summit, but from what I read on the internet, we go past it, down a little bit, then up, and uh, there's another peak off to the south. So that's where we're heading. Heading for the views, dude. So I think this is the South Iron Views or South Cliffs of Iron Mountain. I, I don't know, but clearly the views, yeah. So if you come up here, make sure you go exploring. So if you go off to the left, there's all sorts of views and stuff down there. You can get down pretty far too. But if you go to the right, you can wrap around easily halfway, 
probably around the little top of this thing. It's beautiful. There's just views, views everywhere, man. Just kicking it. Hang out a little longer. Been up here at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half already. Awesome. So we're off the summit. I probably could have stayed up there another six hours and been entertained, but <laughs> we're down back to the intersection where um, it splits off to go to the mine. I'm not gonna go to the mine. I'm gonna be honest, I have no interest really in checking it out. Supposedly it's literally just a covered up mine and uh, no real view. Anyways, we're heading back out, back down, same way we came. Let's check out the view down. Very similar to the view up. <laughs> So we made it back down to the parking lot area right by where the car is. So the first initial view when you get down here, it's unreal. I can't believe people get to live up here. It's so sweet. <laughs> but uh, I'll give you one last look as we head out. The parking lot is literally right down there. It's maybe a couple hundred feet down that way. It's rare that the parking area is one of the better views. <laughs> But anyways, it's a great hike, uh, pretty easy, relatively. I think it's just a little over three miles, give or take. And uh, epic views, the cliffs up there, you, you just see stuff for days. So definitely make sure, explore if you're up there. Anyways, we're out, it's been real, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Like the video if you like it, if you loved it, consider commenting and subscribing. You can follow me on Instagram at Chris Goes Outdoors if you care to, but don't feel obligated. Social media is pretty lame. And until next time, check out this view.